How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm going to show you guys how you can watch Heartland if you are outside of Canada for free. Now Heartland is available in quite a few streaming services besides CBC. But the cool thing about CBC is that it offers it for free, but only for Canadian citizens. So unless you're in Canada, you're not going to be able to watch Heartland for free, at least. Now, you can definitely, you know, subscribe to Netflix or Hulu. But let's say you're just trying to get access to it for free. You're not going to be able to unless you're in Canada or, of course, if you have access to a reliable VPN. So as you can tell here, I'm connected to the Canadian server here with ExpressVPN, and that's why I'm able to get access access to Heartland. Now, before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, be it Express, Nord, or Surfshark, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Of course, I've tested a couple dozen VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best VPNs to unblock streaming services. And generally, these VPNs are just really good for privacy, performance, and general security features. So I was on Heartland right here, right? Um, let's say you are on CBC Heartland, you click episodes and then you'll be met with a screen that looks a little like this. So let's just wait a little bit. And uh, of course, you'll have to create an account. So let's say I'm trying to watch this first episode of season 14, I think. So let's go ahead and watch. And I'll have to, of course, sign in and you can create an account and whatnot. And this is where you'll be able to uh, get into the service and watch it for free. However, if you're outside of Canada, you're probably going to be met with a screen that looks like this. So I had the screen before connecting to the Canadian server, and this is what it tells you. The full gem experience is not available outside of Canada. But since I'm connected to the Canadian server on ExpressVPN, I'm able to access it and finally create an account. So that is pretty much how you get access to Heartland on CBC for free. But of course, you know, you're going to need one of these VPNs, which will give you access to CBC for free. All right. And of course, with regards to connecting to any of these VPNs, it's super easy. Just go to locations, pick, let's say America's here and pick one of the Canadian servers. Same thing with NordVPN, just zoom into uh, Canada and pick one of the available locations. So Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, same thing with Surfshark, just scroll down to C and you have three locations in Canada. It's as simple as that. But how do you know which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you? Well, it depends on what you're looking for out of your VPN. So let's say you're looking for the best security, best anonymity overall. You don't really care about budget. You just want something that is as plug and play of a VPN as it can get. It's super compatible with so many devices, nearly every single device you can ever think of. You've got over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is way above the industry average in terms of country locations. You'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription, and you've got basic security features such as the kill switch and split tunneling, as well as a handful of protocols. Now, with regards to the kill switch, if you're not familiar with these features, the kill switch and split tunneling are basic security features that should be available in every premium VPN that's worth its salt. Now, the kill switch will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, preventing any leaks from getting out of your PC. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say you want to watch Heartland and you don't want the rest of your connection to be affected by the VPN. So let's say you're going to watch it on Google Chrome, okay? You select Google Chrome right here, and this is how it works. It will only allow Google Chrome to use the VPN while the rest of your connection bypasses the VPN tunnel, or vice versa, where you can have selected applications bypass the VPN tunnel, while the rest of your connection is tunneled through the VPN. It's a very useful feature, especially if you don't want your entire connection to be affected by the VPN. Now, the next option, if you're looking for more features and uh, something that's a little bit cheaper, you'll get NordVPN, you'll get specialty servers such as double VPN, onion over VPN and peer to peer as well as dedicated IP if you switch to the OpenVPN protocol. 
Um, I recommend sticking to Nord Links, it'll be the fastest one, but you'll get a dedicated IP if you're interested. Of course, if you want to learn a little bit more about these features, you'll find the full review in the description down below. Uh, but all in all, you get plenty of great features here. Uh, threat protection will block ads and will protect your device from infected files before downloading them. Besides, I've got over 5,400 servers in 60 countries though, so that's 34 less countries than ExpressVPN. And you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. You've got the regular kill switch, as well as an app kill switch, which are close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly rather than disconnecting your entire internet as it is with the internet, the regular internet kill switch. You've got split tunneling just like Express VPN. In advance, you have an easy way to change your DNS with custom DNS and obfuscated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. Now, if you're looking for something that's even cheaper, you'll find that with Surfshark. And Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, making it the perfect VPN if you'd like to share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like. And despite it being a pretty cheap VPN, you won't necessarily be sacrificing much on uh, privacy, performance, or features for that matter. You still get static IP and multi aperture the same as double VPN and dedicated IP. From NordVPN, you've got over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, and you'll be able to secure, again, an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. If we go to VPN settings here, just like NordVPN, you'll be getting an ad blocker, a kill switch, a handful of protocols, stick to automatic if you'd like the most versatile option, but WireGuard will be the fastest option. Bypasser is basically split tunneling, it's just called Bypasser in Surfshark. You also get the bonus feature of being able to select specific websites and IP addresses to bypass the VPN and not just applications. You also get a handy speed test, just like ExpressVPN here. It'll save you a little bit of time. Instead of manually speed testing every single server to figure out which one could be the best choice for you. And you have a couple of features here, rotating IP, no borders mode, rotating IP will automatically rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes while your VPN location stays the same, helping you cover up your tracks. And no borders mode will help you bypass the great firewall of China or other censorship firewalls if you're in a restrictive country. So that is pretty much it for this video. Again, with regards to watching Heartland while you're outside of Canada, it's super easy to do. All you need to do is select one of these super reliable VPNs and you'll be able to access Heartland super easily as if you're in Canada yourself. And of course, you'll be able to access any other streaming services that may not be available to you, not just for Canada, but of course, services in Europe, services in Asia, services uh, in the United States. So that'll be it for this video. Keep in mind that all these VPNs do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try out these VPNs risk free and you do have 24 seven live chat support if you'd like to ask them any questions. Again, links to pricing and discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.